Good morning. I'm doing just a little recovery walk this morning. I'm um, probably just a mile and a half. I'm going to need to do some yoga when I get home because I didn't stretch yesterday after my five miles and I really need to be doing more stretching. I'm still feeling good. I didn't need to take any uh, painkillers or anything last night. I'm dealing with an uncooperative knee. And so far, everything that I've been doing to try to manage that has worked. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Karen, and last November, I lost my exercise mojo in a big way. I'm getting it back now, one workout at a time, and vlogging about it as I go. And I invite you to come along with me. What I wanted to actually talk about today is the importance of maintaining a positive attitude. And there's a lot of misconception, I think, about what a positive attitude is. You know, I, when I was in my early 20s, I dated this guy who was really into positivity. You had to be happy and upbeat all the time and you had to look for the good in everything and it was pretty toxic, actually. That's not what positivity is. And I think one of the things that has helped me I get back to working out regularly um, is maintaining a positive attitude. But it's not about being happy or even about having like a can do. I can do this. You can do it. Just put your mind to it. That's, that's BS. Um, <laughs> what a positive attitude is. And I'm looking at the work of a social science researcher named Angela Duckworth. If you wanna look up her TED talk, it's wonderful. And it's about what she calls grit. And I think that's what a positive attitude is. In fact, she has actually said in her research, successful people fail more because they try more. I think that's really an important component in, in being positive is I, and I was trapped in that for so long is that when something didn't work and I was like, oh, all right, well, I can't do that, write it off and then go looking for something else rather than saying, okay, well, this didn't work, which means I haven't figured it out yet. And that's, I think the key is using the word yet. And there's actually been some research that shows that uh, kids, I think they did this in Chicago Public Schools, that they gave kids, instead of giving them a failing grade, they said, you haven't got this yet. And the grade of not yet is actually better than a grade of failure because that meant that they could try again. Um, and I think that that's an important thing to keep in mind. It doesn't matter whether it's a diet and exercise program or a YouTube channel or, um, you know, or anything that you're trying to do in your work or family life. If it doesn't work, it doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means that you haven't got it figured out yet. And I think that keeps you going that kind of attitude that, that if you don't find one solution, there's another one. I mean, if I had a can-do solution, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna run this 10K in spite of my knee. I'm gonna do it. Well, you, wanna give them you know what? I have to get real. I have an uncooperative knee and it's, I have to work within those limitations, but I figured out how to do it. I mean, I had a lot of help, that's what's kept me going, is just to say, well, I haven't got this yet. And I would like to tell you that in the, in the description box, there's a link to the group coaching program that I have because I've put a system into place to navigate around, to, to maintain healthy diet and uh, exercise habits and to navigate around all these potholes. 
and I would like to help you do that too. So, and there's nothing like companionship and support along the way. So group coaching, uh, they are small groups. And I'll tell you, I honestly, I am not doing what all the marketers tell you, tell <laughs> what all the marketers told me to do. And that is to generate a false sense of scarcity. It's not a false sense of scarcity. These will be, these are two groups that I have going this fall and they will be small, no more than six or seven people. Um, so once they're full, I'll cut off registration and you have until September 11th, I believe, to sign up. So uh, you can check out, read more about it in, um, on my website. Also, if you feel like you might be interested in the future, but you can't make it now, uh, sign up for my newsletter and I will let you know when I'll be launching another series. So, um, this is the joy of living in an urban area. I've got a lot of traffic. <laughs> this I think is garbage collection. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Get out there and keep moving and I'll see you tomorrow.